Hey everyone, I got something I want to show you. Oh shit. So it's really been that long, huh? Yeah, videos be taking longer than finishing soup with a fork nowadays. But on the bright side, you guys look like the best Halloween decorations right now. Give yourselves a pat on the back for waiting that long. You really could have gone to Six Flags in that time, you know? Love you. Okay, so boom. A few weeks ago while I was working, I fell bored to oblivion and thought, fuck it, why not just get an exotic pet? That's what people do when they're bored nowadays, right? Oh, <laughs> no. That's what privileged, impulsive, richy rich people do. Nobody just declares they're bored and pulls an eagle out their ass. See, that's like wanting to take care of a crazy kid because you got way too much time on your hands. Yeah, but most people would adopt an eagle over a kid in a heartbeat if it was legal. Still, this was all out of the blue. A few weeks ago, I suddenly realized life was too boring, too dull, too damn mundane. So much that it was criminal. I'm sure you all get the feeling. Some days you'll just be sitting in a classroom or an office job and this crisis would just come out of nowhere like, Wait, what the fuck? I got like 80 something years on this earth. What am I doing sitting here with paperwork for? I should be, I should be searching for one piece. I should go skydive off Mount Everest or hike into Area 51. Yeah, yeah, I'll go do that. But goddamn, the rest of these sheep will need to wake up. Get back in your seat. My parents always told me I could get a dog someday. Someday. So with my brother and a friend named Cheesesteak, we went a few miles to go visit an exotic pet shop. Yeah, I could have gone to a regular pet shop, but get real. If you got choices, nobody's picking a damn fish. And plus, I was expecting something in there like a... Like a shark. Or a hawk. Or even one of these things, you know? Something majestic. When I actually went inside though, there were just a bunch of disappointing pillow material. Nothing wrong with those, but I already have two chickens named Popeyes and Xenomorph 2000. Not to mention two parakeets named Pidgeotto and Piplup. And they don't do squat, but squawk their asses off in the morning. The lady in the store was trying to show us around the shop. So she put like five brolic ass birds on her arm, and they went to town on it, massacring her arm. She just stood there and acted like nothing just happened. You good? Are you okay? Yeah, I lift. We should, uh, we should really call an ambulance. In the end, the only thing in the store that caught my eye was this ferret, so I brought it to the cashier without thinking much of it. Lady, how'd you get this? Aren't ferrets illegal around here? Ha! <laughs> you think anyone cares about that? Shit, people sneak them out all the time. This is America. Fuck the police. Who cares? This pet shop lady had the confidence of a straight up gangster with an A, which convinced me enough to buy it. As soon as my mom came home from work, she saw the ferret cage on the counter and she was like, Uh-uh, no. What's that rat thing that just came out of the sewer doing in my house? You better put that thing back in the trash it came from like now. Put it back! But mom, this thing's so cool. I heard it even eats snakes. Please! You could get whatever pet you want after this, I promise. Just return this nasty thing. Well, that was the cue. And so I agreed to return it the next day. Since we were allowed to get anything besides a ferret now, we decided to get a polar bear cub. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, I know, this is way better than a ferret. Right, right. Okay. But where'd you get a polar bear cub from? Some guy gave her to me in front of a supermarket in Connecticut. I... I got nothing. Are you an undercover cop? Uh, no. Cause I'm just playing, it's a puppy. If I can't get a ferret in this state, then I'd definitely get a lifetime sentence for sneaking a polar bear into my house. But I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of amusing seeing how many of you fell for this when I posted the picture on Twitter. What a bunch of bozos. So then, everyone, meet Polar, the Shiba Inu polar bear lookalike. You can already tell how smart she is. Woof. First things first, coming up with a name for this dog was harder than calculus. My family came up with a few simple suggestions at first. All right, important family meeting. We need a name for this dog. My brother said, oh, you should name her Vampire, you know? Cause we got her during the blood moon. Okay, good, good. We're heading in the right direction, but we need a name that just fits better. How about Poo Poo? Okay, now you're going backwards. Bong Kui Kui? She not from the hood. Yif master. Next, my mom suggested Minus. Why Minus? Cause she take my money, my time, my food, my furniture, my sanity, all minus. Pops? Dog. You can just feel the love radiating from my family to this new pet. I was gonna name her Puppet, because now see, this is a pretty clever name if you break it down. Puppet, because she's literally a pup that is also a pet. She is a girl pup, so like Bowser with Bowsette, she'd be a pup, but Puppete. Yes, I'm sorry for using that reference. And lastly, I am her master, so she is my puppet. And voila, what you think? Okay, first of all, that last reason will land you in jail because PETA will find out. But like, I could expose you on Twitter right now because really? 
You gave it a pink bow? Are you a Neanderthal? Gender stereotypes shouldn't be influenced, especially during early age. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe she wants yeah. to be a he. You could be misgendering it, and、I'm、you're just、I、labeling、asked. her by her physical body parts. People like you nowadays are the reason that society can't progress. Can't move forward.、Mm-hmm. We could have been living in 2095、mm-hmm. with flying cars, but no, we're stuck with useless foldable phones and AirPods. <gasps> so in the end, we mutually agreed that the name Polar was simple and for the best. I gotta tell you, the first time I got her, the person who was the most hype was my friend Juju. Like, look at this. I will die for Polar. I am sending the angels right now. To send blessings for Polar. She is appointed as the ambassador to heaven. Polar. Polar, polar. I'm blessed. I want to cry so much. I love doggies. Oh my god, this is like the equivalent to the Virgin Mary holding Jesus. Oh shit, I'm tearing up. He's alive. My depression is cured. My anxiety is gone. <laughs> I have seen him for one second, but I will kill everyone and then myself for him. I will go to your fucking house and pet him. I will fucking. He's gonna cure my depression. He's gonna cure AIDS. He's gonna bring peace to the Middle East. Pupper 2020. I'm so touched. I wanna go to heaven and bring back Jesus Christ. I will go to heaven and bring back God so he can see what he created and cancel Judgment Day. I will go to hell and bring Satan back to earth to meet the pupper, and then he will come back to heaven again. This pupper is so precious. He will make all the fallen angels get back into angels. All the soldiers stop shooting each other and become civilians. All the homeless men. Into billionaires. This dog solves all our problems. I live in the same era as this puppy. This puppy and I live at the same time. This puppy and I are breathing at the same time. We are alive at the same time. This is so. Wow. I've had Polar for about a month now. You want to know what this dog's favorite food is? My body parts. Within the first week, I got her. She ate my hair, eyes, brains, limbs, kidneys, and gave me 50 battle scars. No exaggeration. The first night she slept in my room, she cried every single hour. I really thought I was never gonna get sleep again. Was committing to this pup for 15 years a mistake? Fun fact. This right here is called the puppy blues. When owners regret buying their dog in the first place, when they realize how much responsibility it's gonna take to pay for the food, clean the shits, procrastinate even more by playing with the pup and walking it every day at 6 a.m. in the morning. For God's sake, that's when I sleep. When I woke up, she broke close to everything in my room, even cracked my phone for the first time. And I swear that's never happened in my life. Moving her into the living room was less stressful for me since there are no wires for her to bite on. The best way I could describe her now is a horror movie jump scare. She shows up wherever I turn, whenever I least expect it, and because of that, I trip on her often. Oh shit! No polar. Where'd you even come from? She follows you everywhere, even to the toilet, which does become weird at times. The first few times we just had a staring contest, but eventually you just sort of get used to it. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. <laughs> Remember how I talked about living with rats in the last video? Well, when Polar first arrived, the rats were probably like. Oh no! What's that? That's like one of them guard animal things for house protection, right? Chuck, we're really screwed now. It's the end game, boys and girls. A few days later, you know what I find? I find Polar stuck on a glue trap. Polar, those were supposed to be for the rats. You were supposed to be the chosen one. This is gonna be easier than we thought. We could use this mutt to get all the food we want. Yeah, don't think I don't see you. I hear you. This dog's gonna eat you like chow someday. Besides that whole rat situation, I still think she's a smart dog. It hasn't been long, but she already knows some tricks like sit, lay down, roll over, fetch, jump, bark, Simba pose, get high on seltzer, and my favorite, the head bang. For the most part, she understands the commands, except my dad has a heavy accent. So whenever he tells Polar to sit down, she gets confused. Shit, shit. Shit! 
Her energy levels are really no game, and she could probably run to the top of Mount Everest with ease. In fact, I think I've grown enough gray hairs from all this playtime. The whole first month, this dog's been hypnotizing me to spend time with her. If I needed to go somewhere without her, she gives me those eyes. You know what eyes I'm talking about. She's that one meme where DW is behind the fence wishing she could be out there, guilt tripping you with that look. And I'd end up bringing her to the supermarket or to the shoe store, praying she doesn't pee anywhere. No, not the easies. Uh, yeah, that's gonna cost you 2,000 bucks. But thankfully, that's never happened yet. I brought her to the vet recently, and other people were also spellbinded by her, giving her all this attention and asking all these questions. Is that a fox? It's a dog. A Shiba Inu. A what now? Shiba Inu. That's, uh, that's not the Chinese name or whatever its native land is from, right? Because I never heard of it. What's its American name? Shiba Inu. That's the name. Oh, no. English name. What's the English name? Now, why are you saying it like that? Shiba Inu. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's called White Fox Bear. <laughs> Am I speaking another language? Do you know the Doge meme? The what now? You damn fossil. Give me one second. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. So what you're trying to say is it's a fox, right? F this f I'm f***ing out. You owe me 1% battery. So if any of you plan to get one of these dogs, just know they're hunting dogs, escape artists, rebels, and have 10 times the energy than someone who drank a whole pack of monsters. Just looking out.